one of the easiest ways to have students turn documents or presentations into you in Google Docs is to have them create collections. Once they create a collection, they can share it with you, and then throughout the year they can treat that as a digital Dropbox, or in other words, a digital portfolio that has all of their work turned in throughout the year. To do that, students would go to Create New on the left and choose Collection. And they would name the collection. You could come up with some sort of naming convention that you want for your class. For example, if I taught English first period, I could go English 1 and have them put a dash. And then maybe their last name. Once they've created that collection, it shows up over on the left-hand side. They then click the triangle right next to it and choose Share. And once the sharing settings come up under Add People, they're going to put your name. If they start typing your first or last name, your email address will automatically pop up. Then they click on Share and Save. Once they've shared that collection with you, you can actually create a collection of your own. For example, I've created one here called First Period. And you can then organize your collections so that they're listed by period and then by student name in alphabetical order. To organize, I can click on any collection. and I can choose Organize. And I can tell it exactly where I want that collection to go. I can also do this all at once by selecting all of the collections that I want to put in that period or in that class. Once students have done this and you have the collection set up, then throughout the year as the student creates something in Google Docs or uses a template or whatever it might be, when they're done, for example, like this sample presentation, they just take it and drag and drop it into their folder or collection. And you automatically then, when you click on their name, will see their work.